Hi everyone, it's Lori from Refurbished Treasures. Thought I would jump on here today because I finally found the time. I'm getting ready to start a piece basically from the very beginning and I will be eventually adding on piece prints. Um, you've probably seen in the past when I've used piece prints on pieces and this one came in before the shutdown and before everything but it wasn't scheduled um, until I think it was, oh gosh, I'm trying to remember. But anyways, it wasn't ready. Now I finally have the time. I just finished up a big custom set. And this is the piece that I'm going to be working on. Here is the beautiful overlay. So this is a self-adhesive overlay by Peace Prince. I mean, this is just stunning. Look at the colors in there. Look at that butterfly. Look at the greenery. I mean, there's so many different colors. It took me forever to figure out what color did I want to pull from this image. So what actually we decided was my partner, Emily, um, had just gotten in a shipment of her paints. I normally work with Dixie Bell and retail for Dixie Bell, but she actually retails Wise Out. Um, so, let me grab, I am going to be using, for the first time, this color called Foxtrot. We think that green is going to, hi Mike, how are you doing? We think it's going to really pull from this um, overlay. Look how beautiful this color is. Can you see that good? It's a beautiful dark green. So, thinking that's going to pull really nicely from the overlay. Hi Ruby, how are you today? Hi Carrie. So anyways, here is where I got my inspiration. Um, I pulled my inspiration color from this overlay. So pretty. And have you guys heard of Peace Prints overlays? Maybe you're new. How are you doing Carrie? I hope everybody's safe and doing okay. Um, Self-adhesive overlays are very similar to transfers, but also, also it's really not. It's so weird. So anyways, these are um, a very thin image and they're high quality. And when you put them on, you put them on completely different than you would a transfer because you're gonna just use a soft cloth and you basically will pull from behind and just gently add them and push with the soft cloth. Uh, it's nice to see so many people on today. So anyways, when we get to that point, I'll have this live so you guys can see me put this image on. One thing to remember is when you're using these um, self-adhesive overlays by Peace Prints, you cannot put them over raw wood. So I'm gonna paint this piece top to bottom. This will become a stain. Um, it has a beautiful mirror even. And um, I kinda just wanted to bring you guys along on the journey. So let's get painting. And I wanted to let you guys know, um, I also did some prep work. So this has been cleaned thoroughly. Um, we'll rinse it off. And then I wanted to show you guys. So here I thought my piece was in pretty good shape. It's an older piece. But when I started to get more into it and examining it, let me see if I need to turn a light on. Is that a little bit better? You can, I'm gonna see if I can move you lower. See down here? I found that when examining and cleaning it, that this little veneer shell that they put over wood was lifting. So obviously at some point, maybe it got some moisture. So rule of thumb is if you can lift veneer, you should peel it. And I peeled off a huge section from the bottom. And then I used Dixie Belle Mud. Let's see if you can see that. And I chose to use the color brown. Just because I think that going over it with green, brown's gonna hide really well. It is still drying down below, as you can see. Once it's completely dry, you'll see that light tan instead of the dark blending through it. I'll go over that with sandpaper. You'll never even know. Mud is amazing. You'll never even know if there was any damage to it. So that's a good secret trick that you guys are gonna learn on using Dixie Bell Mud. 
see who else is on here. You guys, my lighting. Oh, I know. <laughs> Carrie, I love wheels. <laughs> and then it's so easy to just pull around, push around. I mean, crazy. If I could just move this thing around like it's nothing. It's original wheels, I believe. So let's see here. I'm trying to see if I can get you guys. I do. Carrie, I have what's called white lightning. White lightning, you can you get a good size container. It's about maybe like this thick. And you can get so many uses out of it. So what people normally do is they put it into like either like a big spray bottle or something and dilute it with water and then you spray it as you need it. But it, one little container would last you forever. Hi, Chris. How are you today? Just talking about this piece. I was super excited. Um, I've been wanting to do this forever. Just didn't have time until now. But look at the image I will be putting on it. And look at that butterfly. I mean, this image is stunning. So pulling from that, I'm going to try my partner's paint line that she retails called Dix or Wise Owl, and it's gonna be the color of Foxtrot. So I have um, I have one or two still in stock at the store, Carrie, so let me know. So anyways, this is our color. We're going a beautiful dark, deep green. And even though these drawers will be covered with the overlay, I'm still going to paint them because you don't want to go over raw wood with an overlay. You want it to have something to adhere to. You want it to have a porous um, foundation, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So once I put that porous foundation down and it dries, I can go ahead and put my overlay over it. So right now we're just going to have fun and put our first scratch coat of paint on it. If I miss any of your questions, you guys, um, I will try to look occasionally. But if I miss anything, once this is over, I'll go back and answer anything. So. Let's pull this a little closer. I'm going to turn this, I think, a little more. That way you can kind of see what I'm doing. <laughs> you have to have your shop back towels. Now, um, anyone who's new to chalk painting, chalk painting is um, a super cool product. So you can take a small container of chalk paint and you would be surprised. Like I could probably paint this entire dresser in two coats for less than eight ounces of paint. So that chalk paint if you practice the right steps, can go super far. And right now, um, it's spring, we're all stuck at home. There's many projects we could be doing around our house. Like I just watched a video the other day, a woman took Dixie Belle chalk paint and painted her countertops, and she actually veined them. It looks stunning. And then she even did her floor. She went right over existing tile, I believe, and put down a stencil and chalk paint and uh, painted her vanity in her laundry room. I mean, it was just stunning. It looked like Million Dollar Kitchen by the time she was done in laundry room. Okay, so enough chatting. <laughs> Guys gotta stop me. I'll get to chatting and not get much accomplished. So can you see me okay? I believe so. So um, I had already degreased this, so I'm gonna go ahead. Once you've uh, applied the degreaser, you guys, you want to get rid of that film because degreaser will leave a film behind. So just gently wipe it off. That's just water in my mister. And I'm getting rid of that film. If you don't, what will happen is it could cause paint to lift. So you want to make sure you take your time and prep a piece. And this will be stained, so we're going to ignore that. Hi, Ashton, how are you doing? Okay, so we're gonna do this first time ever Foxtrot. And we're gonna give it a shot here. So, oh, that's a pretty color. Isn't that pretty, you guys? Look at that beautiful green. 
I was feeling green. I'm glad I pulled the green from that overlay because I just think it will be gorgeous. And this is just a scratch coat. That's what we call, hey, Ashley, that's what we call our first coat of paint is just a scratch coat. So you're not going to put a lot of paint on. You're just basically laying the foundation so that when you go over with the second coat, it goes on beautifully. I was just explaining, Ashley, this is the piece that I will be using. Let me show you, Ashley. This is the one. Uh, I want to make sure I don't do it upside down. This is my piece print with the butterfly and the florals. So I'm laying that. I know. Uh, my partner, Emily, she retails Wise Owl. Our Wise Owl and uh, Klingon brushes. So I'm like somewhat obsessed now with the S50. Look at, the, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Small handle. So this is, I'm just basically going to lay the foundation down and then I'm trying, I'm going to try to do this whole piece together, including getting the um, overlay cut and ready to be added to the front drawers. This is, I, I have not used Wise Owl paint in a long time, but I'd like to give it a shot since she, since she retails it. And also just because the color was beautiful. It's a nice match. I think it's more clayish, it seems like. So what are you guys? Hey, Em. What are you guys up to today? <coughs> You guys, is there enough light? Can you see? Can you let me know if you're seeing okay? To me, it seems very dark, so I don't know. Let me turn this light on. Did that help any? Emily, can you guys see? Are you able to see what I'm doing pretty good? Is the angle and lighting okay? So I'm not putting a lot of paint on because again, this is my first coat, you guys. So we just want to lay a light coating of paint. Marsha, how are you doing? Yeah, it's good. Okay, good. Like, yeah, oh yeah, it's covering really well. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? This color is beautiful. Already I got paint on my floor. So easy to do. Okay, look how quick that was, you guys. First coat. I like this color, M. Okay, so let me move my TV tray because we're going to turn this dresser around. Now, normally I would probably start painting here, but because I have you guys live, um, I would normally pull these dresser drawers out, but um, it's really complicated to do that while you're live. Isn't it pretty, Carrie? It's gorgeous. So we're just going to go straight across here. Uh, like I said, normally I would just pull these out. 
I usually line them up. But then it's going to be really hard for you guys to see. So we're just going to paint it as is. And I haven't decided yet since look at how cool these old keyholes are. Once I put that overlay on, um, I can't decide if I want to just cover them or if I want to poke them through, which I probably will poke them through because I think that cutout is gorgeous. What do you guys think? Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more paint, you guys. Uh... But yeah, look at this color. Isn't it gorgeous? And look at you guys. I'm barely using any paint at all. Okay. So we're going to carefully set that there. So hopefully I don't... Cut it up. That's what I think. Yeah, I think I, you know, I think that if these show through, it'll be even more beautiful. And then I could take like a little artist brush even and touch it up if I had to. But I think that's gorgeous. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep the original hardware. I might. I don't know. We'll see. And I like that this is old. So like right here, there's a little imperfection here and there. No missing veneer on the front, but just imperfections. I like that. I'm not even interested in fixing that. I think that shows how cool this piece is. Shows the age of the piece. It's just neat. So did you guys know up at the boutique, Em and I both retail chalk paint, you guys. So um, I have Dixie Bell chalk paint and Emily does the Wise Owl, which is what I'm using right now. Um, there, You can use chalk paint on almost anything that you can think of. And if you have little ones at home, you can even do like clay pots. You could do canvas art with it. It goes so far. So for just a little bit of money, you guys could have so many projects in one little tiny jar of paint. A lot of people have been doing kitchens lately. Since there's time to be at home right now, a lot of them are updating their kitchen cabinets. And this is just the first coat, don't forget. So I'm not putting a ton of paint on or anything, and um, I'm not gonna be too careful because anything that I wanna fix, I'll come back through with my second coat, but I'm just laying a foundation down. Am I in front of the camera, you guys? What do you think? Yes, you retail the Klingon brushes. Oh, that's true, Em. Which is what I'm using. I'm using an S50. I'm finally going to use the one I bought from you on the kitchen cabinets. That's why I needed the degreaser. Oh, that's a very good idea, yes. So you want to use a very good degreaser, carry, um, and definitely want to clean it off once you've gotten all that grease off of there. Um, yeah. It is an excellent one. A lot of the painters recommend it. So, oops, sorry. Let me, you guys, hold on one second here, okay? Let me grab my iPad. I think someone messaged me. Okay, it's something I can come back to, sorry. I thought it was business related where I was going to have to answer a question or something like that. I'd love to see your cabinets beforehand, Carrie, and see if it's, you know, what kind of wood it is and stuff like that. Also, don't ever forget, take before and after. 
because it's so fun to see how drastically they get changed and updated. <coughs> so look how pretty already this is going. I'm just like, Emma, I'm really impressed. This is really pretty. You know, having a good brush, I know when you're first starting out with chalk painting, it seems like kind of an expensive, you know, expense basically, but having a good brush will save you so much time, save you so much product, and also give you a beautiful finish. So they are worth the investment. And you can use these if you take good care of them for years and years. Hi, Stacy. Is it hi, Kareen? So we're working on a custom, or not a custom, but a dresser today. Um, I am using the color Foxtrot by Wise Owl. And then at a later date, I'm going to be adding, my hands are getting gross, you guys. Those of you who are coming on later. Look at this beautiful piece print by, um, well, this piece print right here, this overlay. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got a butterfly, it's got green foliage, it's got all these colors. I cannot wait. But because this is an overlay, I wanna make sure that I'm putting a foundation of porous paint down before I apply it. Yeah, exactly. I keep hitting this, you guys. I'm wearing my slippers, because why not? I'm at home. Hi, Linda. So I'm at home, so I feel accomplished when I got up and actually like put a little bit of makeup on, um, but I still wore my slippers. <laughs> so I'm not up at the shop in the workshop today. Um, at least I can still paint up there. That's good in the back. And then um, I decided, well, this is a good time since I just finished a very big custom set uh, it was a three-piece um, bedroom dresser set. Just got that finished. Um, we just have to add some washes to the hardware. Otherwise, it is finished. Now I've got a little time to be working on that. So let's keep busy and get creative. If you guys have any questions about any of the products I'm using or um, what we would be able to uh, tell you about, about what we carry even, because we don't just carry chalk paint. She has her Klingon brushes. Um, I actually have what's called Retique It. And when I post the pictures of this custom I just finished, you guys are going to be amazed. I used the product that I retail called Retique It. And it created a top on each of her pieces that looks like it's true wood and that it was stained. And what it is, it's actually um, a patented formula where the paint has um, wood fibers and once you've done your steps with it, you can actually use real stain on it. So it looks really cool. <laughs> I can't get over it. I'm, I'm a little in awe of how it turned out because it really looks like, um, like a beautiful stained top. Oh, this one is stuck. Let's see here. There we go. <coughs> But I have been missing, it doesn't really feel like spring out there yet, even though we've got, like I've got some tulips and hostas and things like that are coming up, but it doesn't really feel like spring. So I kind of wanted to paint this in like springy colors. I don't know, we need some happy, happy colors. That's what I'm going for. You guys, look how quick this has gone on. And I will leave this, um, Emily says this takes a little bit longer to dry, so I will probably leave this for about an hour, come back, up to you if you want me to come back live or not, and watch me put the second coat on. Um, we will not be able to do that side since I had to mud it, because it's going to have to be thoroughly dry before um, I want to sand it. Hoping I'm not in your way, you guys. Sometimes I get in the zone and then I forget I'm even live and then I'm like, my body could be in the way or who knows. 
And I'm kind of like one of those um, people who never just does something halfway. Like, once I get something started, I'm just crazy. Can you do a whitewash look with Retique? Yes, I believe, Linda, they carry gray weathered wood. Oh, I think there's a white choice. Um, hi, Trisha. There is, uh, like, of course, like oak and cherry. Um, what I, black walnut, colonial black, that kind of thing. There's all different colors. So what Retique it is, is it's a paint and it comes in light wood or dark wood. So light wood would be for your lighter stains and dark wood would be for your darker stains. What we did was dark wood with Java and it turned out stunning. I'll have to share those pictures with the client's permission. It's crazy, <laughs> but I'll look into that, but I'm almost positive there is a whitewashed look. Um, Trisha, so what I'm doing is I'm working on a dresser, and this is the color called Foxtrot, so it's this beautiful deep dark green. It's my first coat, so it's just called a scratch coat, and I'm just putting it on lightly because I'm so excited. This is uh, an overlay from Peace Prince because I'm an ambassador for Peace Prince. They're based out of Texas, and look at this beautiful overlay they sent me. So I chose this image since it was non-copyrighted. I sent them my dimensions of this piece and this is what I'm gonna be using. But to add the overlay, I have to have it on a porous surface. So even though you will not see these drawers in the color um, through the overlay, I'm going ahead and painting it so it's porous. And I'm just about done with the drawers. But it is so fun to create. And like Em and I were looking at that, uh, that overlay, trying to figure out what color to pull from it because there's so many beautiful, vibrant colors. And we both ended up agreeing that green, green would be beautiful to pull from it. So what do you guys think? Did we make the right choice? I think it'll be stunning, I hope. And I am going to stain this. The top is actually not in bad condition at all. So this I'll just use a regular stain on. I'll precondition it and then stain it. This I'm going to go ahead and paint. Uh, what else? I guess that's about it really. It's just basically it right now I'm laying down the foundation. Uh, that first scratch coat is a foundation. And then come back through once it's fully dried. And I will add the second coat which I think that's all it's gonna need. And then once it's dry again, <laughs> I'll come back live and we'll do our cutouts of that transfer uh, of the overlay so you guys can see how they can get cut out. And I'm trying to see even right now, do I have much? There's a little strip right here. So I'm gonna have to make sure, whoops. I'm gonna have to make sure that I tie this all in nicely um, so that it doesn't look like it's gapping and stuff like that. So that'll take some time. But that's all I've got done so far. But this is beautiful. Now, I cannot paint this with you guys live right now on this side. Because I was explaining. Rule of thumb is, is when you have a piece and it has this old veneer. If you find that it has over time... Um, basically release the glue so it's lifting you do not want to paint over lifted veneer because what will happen is it's going to keep lifting so i took my time and went through and lifted any veneer off and then i went over it with dixie bell mud it's like a putty but better it's smoothable like smoothable and it just fits on here perfect now it does take some time as you can see to dry fully but i put a very nice thick coat on here so that once i do sand this it'll be seamless you'll never know that there's anything that happened down here um, because i've completely repaired it and that's one of the things that emily and i both promote for our boutique is that when we do um custom work or we do a piece what's that say can you can we see? Oh, yeah. Can you see it now, Em? I hope you guys were able to see it. Can you see that back there? Um, we make sure that we have done the proper prep work. So a lot of places will um, say that there's no prep required. 
when you use chalk paint. That is not, there's, uh, I don't know, maybe in certain circumstances, but what we have found over five years basically is that if you take the time and do your proper steps, you do your proper prep, it will save you not only time in the long run, but you will end up with a finished piece that will last, that people will want and treasure. Oh, can you only see it a little bit, Em? Let me see. You guys, there's such a glare. Let me see here. Is that okay? Is that better, Em? Can you see it better? Uh, you guys, I took off. Let me show you. <laughs> Might be easier just to show you this way. Look how much veneer I had to take off. Can you see it all here? Look at this. I mean, there is that much veneer missing. Well, that I pulled off. But it was so lifted that it would have just looked awful. And it would have just continued or bubbled or whatever. So instead, I took the time and used Dixie Belle Brown Mud. And mud comes in brown, white, or black. And the stuff is like the consistency of, I guess almost like, like peanut butter so you can really spread it evenly and when it's once you've opened a container you can keep it in the fridge and it will last you forever hi Pamela how are you doing <laughs> so you can't even tell when this is done I'll use sandpaper and I will smooth this completely out you'll never even know that there is any damage here I've smoothed it down here already some of this <laughs> Some of it I'm leaving, like there's some like maybe a little bit of scratches or maybe over time this got little hit, dented, whatever. I'm leaving that because to me that makes it authentic. And I want this to be almost like a cottagey feel. Like, you know, it's sitting out in someone's beautiful home and it's been there for years. So I want this to feel aged and soft and pretty. I don't know. That's where I'm going with it. Hi, Debbie. I miss you, Debbie. I miss your smile and face, girl. So, anyways, you guys. If you have any questions, again, let me know. Um, so, at our boutique, my business partner, M, she does retail Wise Owl. This is Fox Tribe. This is a 16-ounce container. And maybe you can say, gosh... You could probably paint a huge hutch with this M and even maybe have some leftover. So I bet you could do like a dresser, nightstand, or even a couple nightstands. This paint seems to be going pretty far. Emily also retails Klingon brushes. This is the S50. If you have hands that are smaller, this is an awesome brush and it will last you years. Um, I retail up there Dixie Belle chalk paint. Uh, the retique that I was telling you about. I'm going to share that tonight with Kayla's permission. Um, I re, uh, retail piece prints, which is what I'll be using, the self-adhesive overlays. So if there's anything image-wise that you're at home right now and you kind of want to figure out what you'd like to do with, maybe you have your kids graduating or kids are out of school and you took a cool picture of them out in the yard or whatever, Piece prints um, can actually get you the image in your size as long as it's good quality and send that to you. And you can put it on wood or do it any way you want. Um, I also retail Redesign with Prima. And they have some beautiful items. I just actually have an order coming in this weekend, I believe. Um, I'll have molds, which is something new that I have not carried yet, but will have now retailing. They're awesome. Maybe we'll end up putting a mold on here. We'll see. I just don't want to make it too busy. Um, but I will be doing a live to show you guys everything I'm bringing in. And I just had an order from Dixie Bell. Um, hopefully it's going to be shipped soon. So there's a lot going on. Um, we do have some furniture available still up at the boutique. We could practice safe, um, you know, social distancing and everything's been cleaned. And um, I'm a germaphobe, so everything is absolutely clean. And if there's something up there that caught your eye, you could let us know. And if not, Em and I both have inventory that could be redone and turned into a custom. I think Em does. So, anyways, you guys, I can't paint this side with you right now. Like I said, it's going to take some time to dry that mud that I put on there. 
we want that dry thoroughly before I start sanding it. And it, Emily thought maybe wait like an hour. So you can see as my paint is drying, you guys, it's showing. Um, let me move you down again. So here, it, see, you can tell it's starting to dry. Where it's gotten a little darker and stuff, it's drying. So we do not want to start a second coat too soon because it can lift. So we're going to just be patient and let that go. So if um, in a little bit I go live again, I'll pop on here and let you guys finish watching me put a second coat on. And then we'll talk about um, using an X-Acto blade very carefully since I cut myself the other day. And cutting out our piece print to fit these drawers and the strip in between. Um, I know Ashley did that recently and it turned out beautiful. So maybe I can figure that out. Um, and then maybe we'll even do like a stain on here together, you guys. I don't know. I just thought maybe you guys have time and you want to watch some stuff getting done. And it's fun for me if there's any questions or if you guys want to learn how to use the products to do this yourself or, you know, we're here for you. We want everybody to stay busy, keep your minds active so we worry less and stress less and, you know, stay together. So anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. You guys have a great afternoon. Um, again, I'll be probably getting some of this done, but I did want to kind of bring you along during the process. So I will try to keep doing um, short little lives. You guys have a great day. Bye.